other woman, seductress, in the line of booty, like phone sex. General Allen now has to explain nearly 20,000 pages of emails with the comely Mrs. Kelly. In her new lawsuit against top government agencies under penalty of perjury, Jill Kelly swears that descriptions like these are inaccurate and defamatory and that she, quote, has not had an affair with anyone. So how did it happen that this woman saw her reputation allegedly destroyed by anonymous government officials? Being in the position that Mrs. Kelly and her husband are in today is not something they asked for. They came forward to do the right thing, and everything that was unleashed from that point forward was a result of the government's lack of, of um, restraint and in protecting their privacy and dignity of the witnesses and victims here. The Kelly's attorney, Alan Charles Rawl, explains that the mess started in May 2012, when a four-star general, John Allen, began receiving emails from kellypatrol at gmail.com. According to the Kelly's lawsuit against the government, the email disparaged Jill and referred specifically to her and the general's individual private schedules. The suit also claims emails sent by General Petraeus's mistress, Paula Broadwell, were then sent to the Kellys under the alias Tampa Angel. The messages made reference to private information, leading the couple to believe they were being followed. The Kellys claim the emails also threatened all concerned with, quote, embarrassment for all, including spouses, such as info in national headlines. So Jill Kelly reached out to a friend in the FBI, and an investigation into cyberstalking was launched. But then, as the Kellys see it, the investigation took an odd turn. The Kellys assert that Jill gave FBI investigators permission to view just one bothersome email sent to the couple's account. But the FBI kept pressing for access to others and, quote, searched, obtained, and reviewed personal, irrelevant private emails belonging to the Kellys. There's a case study. If next year the Department of Justice does uh, training on victim and witness assistance and protection, that really the poster child case of how not to do it is how Mrs. Kelly and, and Dr. Kelly were treated in, in this instance. According to the complaint, in July 2012, FBI agents appeared at her home in Tampa, Florida, and essentially ordered her to get into an SUV or else they would, quote, do something in front of her children that may terrify them. The agents told her she didn't have time to call her lawyer, and, she says, they made insinuations and accusations regarding her relationship with CIA Director Petraeus and General Allen. She was not treated with the respect that someone who comes forward as a victim as, of cyber stalking, someone who, who really uh, believed that uh, her physical security and that of her family was, was in jeopardy. In November, Petraeus abruptly resigned and his affair with Broadwell became known internationally. Within days, the Kellys say the few investigators who knew her name, quote, willfully and maliciously leaked it to the media and into the, quote, maw of public scrutiny. So they essentially make her collateral damage. The government uh, didn't do the right thing about the Kellys. It adopted a blame the victim approach instead of treating them as, as the, the, the victims and as the witnesses who came forward with evidence of a potential crime. At issue were emails between Kelly and General Allen. They both denied anything untoward. But descriptions of the emails from anonymous officials call them, quote, the equivalent of phone sex over email. Both of them flatly denied it, as he told ABC News. Anytime you're investigated, and you have to remember back across three years, uh, I, hadn't, I didn't have any concerns about what was, what was in the content of the emails. Talk to us about the flirtatious emails with General Allen. But the media came calling. Aggressive reporters hounded the couple, and according to their complaint, their former lives became unrecoverable. Jill Kelly was active with the local military community, an honorary consul to South Korea, and was deeply interested in speaking with Afghan leaders. But she says she saw her reputation indelibly damaged by the government. The senior policymakers ought to ask themselves, ought we to defend this conduct? Is this conduct defensible? Which is to say, the cavalier disclosure and disparaging comments and leaks of Mrs. Kelly's name and the treatment of her. Allen's nomination to head up NATO was put on hold and then it was essentially scrubbed. He retired. But for the Kellys, the fallout has continued. A, a lawsuit, even a successful lawsuit, can only go so far in restoring the victims to where they were before this all happened. This has had a, uh, an impact on them in every way, an emotional toll, a toll on their 
their, their lives, their families, their reputations, their economic livelihood. We should note that Petraeus, Broadwell, the Pentagon, the FBI, and the Obama administration all declined to comment for this report.